Okay, so we're coming back to this Mr. Cool installation. Now, when they put their line set in here, it was that really cheap, funky line set. Um, this is the ISO line set that has that UV resistant, really slick stuff, thicker insulation. I put the better line set on, on here. When they drilled their hole right above the, the plate right here, they drilled their hole straight in like this. So you had to rip the pipes out and come down across straight edges. You don't do that. When you have to go down at an angle, when you drill your hole, drill your hole up at a 45 degree angle, or at least notch it out. I ended up having to notch out the wood in the bottom to bring the line set so the line can come really nice and smooth like this and not have to go like this and rip the shit out of the insulation and make it difficult for the guys who was me and my son taking it out of here back up in sides getting all uh, filled with uh, fire foam uh, fire rated foam I put here and it will go on the inside too they had no protection here before all they had was that cheap line set going through a, a small hole and they just put some silicone over it or some um, Oh, what's the other stuff? Uh, the water-based kind of sealer over it. And they just painted it. That will always leak. And then every time it rains, it goes in. It'll go right into your floor, come out underneath her wooden floor inside. It'll ruin the sheetrock. And it'll cause rot as it goes through the seal plate down here and underneath here, right here. It'll stay wet all the time and rot out the wood. So this is your primary protection. It's also siliconed. It's paintable silicone on there. Uh, this will get cleaned up and painted to match the house. I'll tell them their, their guy who screwed up this He'll be the one repairing the sheetrock inside and he'll be doing all the painting So I'll have him paint this he could paint the line set to match the house um, I also put another wrapping coating around the line set even though the ISO is UV rated It's only UV rated for a certain amount of time. So this little mr. Cool is drawing seven amps of power for this little tiny one ton. I do not see anything efficient about that at all whatsoever for a one ton. That's absolutely pretty inefficient. I can tell you for a fact, the two ton regular split system ICP only draws 4.5 amps to five amps. And that's a two ton, so this thing's just barely breaking under it'll another amp and I probably could push it. It'll probably do eight amps Which for a one ton is actually ridiculous uh, So this is the little mini house that's in We'll come here up the other side Give you a shot and a view of what size building little barn style really nice little place all constructed to code had all the permits pulled and everything and so it's a cute little cottage now as you can see we have the high ceilings in here and coming over you looked at the previous videos uh, and you've seen where their old insulation was ripped down in here and the copper was exposed to the air so that would cause water leaks and mold problem and rotting out uh, this was from their prior installation their guy who's going to be responsible who did all the big screw up on this installation is the one who's going to come back and repair this repair this uh, I'll put some fire foam back inside there I'm actually taking the readings we have uh, 70 77 degrees with my uh, sensor in the top I have 120 degrees coming there out the duct outside ambient temperature is 48 degrees and what else? Uh, I think the rated BTU capacity it was putting out what I last using the field piece uh, software with all the sensors was a little over uh, 19,800 BTUs output right now. 
which is not really quite right because uh, they were not meant really to work on these mini split systems than they were a, a normal split system. Sometimes if you don't have the right airflow, when you put it under a, a small ceiling like this, but you have your heat down here, you could end up heating this area and your temperature sensor will bring back in warmer air that could short cycle you a little bit. And most of their heat is gonna go off up to the ceiling, but they are going to put a fan up there and there's the outlet uh, receptacle for the fan that's gonna be here to get the heat down. They do have a little loft that supposedly I guess is going to be the sleeping area up there. And that's about it from this one. Just clean up and tidy up everything. And the Mr. Cool ordeal is finished. Oh, I would also recommend, oh, one thing. What really sucks about the Mr. Cool was because this is the ISO lines. These are a much higher quality line than what came with the system. Um, and it's a slightly thicker insulation. The Mr. Cool units don't have enough room up here to actually accept these very well. It took a lot of struggle and bending and uh, to get this all straight and to get it to seal and close back down. I would highly recommend get a Fujitsu, get an LG, get a Mitsubishi, get a Daikin, anything else. But my favoritism is definitely not for the Mr. Cool. And this is an example of their insulation that came here. This was their original insulation. You see all that opening in there, all that loose stuff? That's how you get water buildup. And it leaks down. And this was where they had some of their holes inside the insulation and that would have leaked out water inside the wall. This is a really thin, janky, half-assed insulation. So, highly do not recommend buying this if this is what they're selling off their website to install the Mr. Cools. And like I said before, if you are going to buy one of these, you could go to one of the other sites, get this ISO type. It's a lot nicer, it's more, it's tougher. So when somebody isn't so good at pulling stuff through walls, this has a slick, strong outer layer that you can pull through walls very easy compared to that other stuff that came with this. Uh, in a little bit, we're gonna change this over to cool because we wanna see the water come out of here. We'll probably add some water in there to make sure it cools uh, before they open, close it up, tidy everything up in here and watch the water come down, make sure there's no leaks. And that's it for this one on the not so cool Mr. Cool installation.